Today I'm going to show you how to create this glittery smoky eye. Perfect for fall, really easy, so give it a try. As with every look that we do, we always start off with an eyeshadow primer. This will give your shadows something to hold on to. However, if you don't have an eyeshadow primer, concealer and then a little bit of translucent powder over the top will still work pretty well. So for this look, I've picked four eyeshadows. This isn't a palette, these are shadows that I put together myself. And I want to show you guys how to pick shadows that are going to work for you. So the first shadow is the highlight. This should be at least one shade lighter than your skin tone, but can be anywhere to four or five shades lighter. The next one has to be at least one shade darker, but can be as dark as you want. Particularly when doing a smoky eye, this contour shade is the main dark shade. So if you want to go for a very dark smoky eye or a subtle one, then you have your mid-tone, or as some people like to call it, a transition shade. This is basically if you mixed your highlight and your contour together, you would get this shade. So it's somewhere in between. And then we have a fade shade. Fade shade is something totally optional, but I find it's a helping hand to your transition shade. Transition shades can dull looks out a little bit, whereas this adds a slightly different tone while also helping to fade and blend out shadows. You really only need two brushes for this look, but you can add in more as you go. But the main ones that you need is a fluffy and a pencil. Both of these are by Blenkins Cosmetics and they have gorgeous marble handles, which I love. So we're going to start off with the mid-tone and that beautiful fluffy brush. And we're going to apply this in the crease of the eye, which is where the eyelid creases into the eye shape and also bringing this down onto the lid as well. You want to keep your blend nice and soft and light. And as you apply the shadow, you can slowly bring your hand upwards. The higher your hand is when you blend, the lower the blend's going to be. The next shade we're going to take is our contour shade. And we're going to apply this with the pencil brush. So the denser the brush is, the more control you're going to have. And that's what we want with our darker shadows. So we're basically stamping this along the lash line. For beginners, try to imagine that you're actually trying to get the shadow on your lashes. That way you get really close to that lash line. You only want to cover the halfway point of the lid. So really saturate this area. Don't blend it up too high. And you should end up with something that looks like this. What we're going to do is we're going to have our brush a little lower and we're going to smudge and blend over the top of this. We're not picking up, we're not picking up any additional product. We're basically just smudging what's already there and using whatever's left over on the brush. Blending this up to cover the lid but the concentration should be right by those lashes. Now for beginners, if you're over blending, you may find that it disappears from that lash line a little. That's okay. Just go ahead and reapply after you've done your first blend. Now we're gonna take our fade shade and we're gonna blend this back and forth in the crease of the eye. Now you can use your mid-tone for this, but it does dull out the look. However, that can kind of make it a little bit more wearable, so it's personal choice. But what I do is I just coat a little bit of that fade shade on the edge of the brush and I work this into the crease of the eye so that the bristles are touching just ever so slightly above the crease, but mostly focusing deep in the crease and slightly onto the lid. And this will create that fade for you, which is why I refer to it as a fade shade. Then I'm going to take my highlighter shade and with a flat brush or your fingertips, you can just tap this on the inner corner and just underneath the brows. And then we're going to go ahead and apply some glitter. Now for beginners, I would recommend using glitter liners. Glitter liners take all of the stress out of using glitter because if you use plain glitter, you're going to have to use glitter glue. It's fussy. It's messy. Glitter liners all the way. Just make sure to apply a very thin layer and slowly build it up. Now, whenever I use glitter, I also like to go over my lash line with a little bit of black eyeshadow just because I find that the glitter sits on my lash line and it kind of irritates me a little. But if you have really good mascara and you're good at applying it, then you can skip this step. I also like to apply this just underneath the lower lashes to add some definition. However, if you wanted, you can just go in with that contour shade and just apply that underneath there as well. And you can use a pencil brush, a flat brush, or an angled brush for this, or even just a Q-tip. Anything that you have handy that's quite small and detailed. And then there you go. Add lots of mascara, some lashes, and that is the finished look. I would love to see you guys recreate this. It's super, super easy. You can tag me on Instagram, at Katie. And I'm always here to help, so definitely DM me on Instagram if you have any more questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it.